Here we are in Hollywood, California, and I have the uh, uh, writer and actor, as well as the director of the movie Revenant, an amazing little movie I just saw this evening. Um, director Derek Cole and Stephen S Stephen Twardicus. Twardocus. Twardocus. Yeah, hey, I I I, I usually manage to me uh, mess up somebody's name. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, um, how about you two uh, tell me a little bit about your background? How'd you get into this? Uh, well, I, I'm from Michigan, the Upper Peninsula. Sort of. I've heard of that. Of, yes, it's in the middle of nowhere. Everybody does the hand thing. I'm up here. Right. Um, and I went to college for social work and knew I really didn't want to do that, but thought maybe a fallback thing might be good. And, uh -huh. and um, I got involved in the theater and yeah, just sort of packed my car and then I was on my way to California. How long ago was that? Uh, 2001? The years are blending together now. I think it's 2001. What school in? Uh... Northern Michigan University. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, it was good. It's a beautiful area. Oh, absolutely. Visit it if you ever go up that way. Paradise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there is paradise in northern Michigan. There is, and there's actually an area called Paradise right by yes, where Yes, they from. did a movie with, uh, um, oh, what was his name? Don Johnson and Melanie Griffith. Didn't they do a movie in Paradise? Oh. Hmm. Called Paradise? may very well die. I think I missed that one. Though. Yeah, I might have missed I that may one. have to totally edit this out, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. And what about you, Derek? Uh, I'm actually from upstate New York, two hours underneath Buffalo. Uh, I moved out here in the end of 1999. Uh, it's actually just turned 13 years. Um, I got into this because my friends told me that I was very funny and I started doing little comedy shorts and I ended up enjoying the making of the comedy shorts more than I enjoyed actually being in there. <laughs> so I, I moved out here and thought I actually went to school to be a policeman, believe it or not. But, I believe uh, it. Uh, a policeman and a social worker, yeah, somehow I mean, appropriate. Yeah, somehow worked together. So I... Um, since the cutoff was 45 years old, I decided, ah, what the hell, I'll take a stab at making some movies. So I came out here, and I've always been a big movie fan, so, you know. Very cool. And I was always intrigued by it. So uh, tell me about your uh, current project. Tell me about Revenant. Uh, Revenant was just an idea. Um, we were wanting to do a project together. The, I think the very first movie I ever did was one that you directed. And yeah, the very first, Behavior. Yeah. yeah, it was the very first movie I ever made. And we so. we maintained friendship and then we um, got together and we just started talking about how can we make something... Uh, so, well, a little bit... Like a little bit more professional, a little bit scarier. Uh, at first, I was doing a lot of gore stuff, uh -huh. and uh, not just not my. I enjoy watching them. Not a big fan of making them. So we wanted just to kind of what could we do in one location and make it, you know, try to make it as scary as possible, and stick with more of the classic style '80s films. So yeah, a lot of suspense and practical effects. Uh, yeah. Not a lot of CG, and then um, yeah. Really so what did you use for your special effects? You did have some. It's all camera tricks. Yeah, almost all of it except for uh, one, one animation one, spot. Yeah, one shot that's animated. That's Wh it. Which spot was that? Uh, the or the can glass. you talk about? It? Well, we can't, but it, well, There's you can and can't. But it's the glass. When the, anybody sees it, they'll know what we talk about. Yes. The glass is the, animated. The glass. Yes. Yeah. Other than that, everything else is it's all yeah, practical. Practical, and um, we rebuilt parts of my house to be able to shoot certain things in. So that was and, shot in your house. Yeah, all in my house. Yeah, Very movie. cool. Yeah. So a lot of the times, in the, just in the other room from where we were shooting was my whole family sitting out watching TV because that movie was made almost all entirely silent. Yes. We uh, went through and did all the sound together really? for yeah. each individual thing that we needed. Yeah, the only, the only sound that was actually recorded with the movie was dialogue. You're right. Uh, <laughs> really? Very yeah. So... So it was a silent movie originally. Pretty much. Essentially, yeah. Essentially, yeah. You could actually, if you saw the raw footage, you would actually hear like my wife laughing in the background at whatever <laughs> TV show she was watching. And same with our kids, because I got a full house, you uh -huh. know. And uh, 
We'd shoot in the one room and then later on all the breathing, all the steps, all the sheet movement, all that stuff was recorded at like three in the morning on weekdays. Oh really? Yeah. We'd go out in his garage or yeah, in like or in his the office rooms. and close the door and turn off the refrigerator and everything, make sure, try and get in between planes or trains or some other yeah. siren thing that was awful. And we stuck to being really late because there was a lot less of that, so. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. And so, um, uh, where do you plan on going from here with this with the movie? Uh, probably distribution yeah. is next. We already got a couple of interests with different Excellent. companies and stuff, so Excellent. now it's just a matter of hashing all that stuff out and kind of moving from there. Uh, theaters? Uh, probably. I, I have a feeling that it, it probably won't. Yeah. I have a feeling it's It'll just going to be straight DVD. to DVD. Mm -hmm. That's what I believe. Um, but we'll hope that it goes to theaters. Yeah, I mean, we all, we hope that it goes this to theaters. Is, but I I, I love the movie. It, it would be a, it's a great one with uh, sitting in a big screen with popcorn. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. It's definitely an audience movie, like a. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah sure. The gal next to me was scared the snot out of me a few times. Yeah. <laughs> she's terrified. And she just kept <laughs> sinking down deeper and deeper into her seat. Right. Yeah. So. That's great. So after. Uh, 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 beyond uh, uh, Revenant, where do you plan on going from here? We got several films in uh, the making right now that we're planning on doing. We're seeking out budget and whatnot. Yeah. And anything you want to add? Well, we got yeah. There's one that we're sort of working on now that the script is done and we have some interest in it, and that's a it's a, a monster movie, um, but sort of in the same vein. A lot of kind of that psychological fear. Um, yeah, it's not. It's based after the. It's based on the characters, not the monster, like so many movies do these yeah. days. It's sort of a. I don't know. The monster is like more like the yeah, like Jaws. You know, it's more about the people in it and the the creatures, just kind of the evil that's lurking. Yeah, and right. what they what they got to escape from, as opposed to just being like, oh, here's a monster and a bunch of people that are gonna die. Yeah, you know, don't want to do one of those, and you know, very oh, shadowy, like I like it, and probably in 3D. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, I work for a 3D company now. So really, yeah, excellent. It's very cool. That's it. And. Uh, <laughs> I like to close my interviews by giving the uh, folks the opportunity to just tell them so, tell me something weird and wonderful that maybe your fans wouldn't even know about. Uh, putting me on the spot first. Yeah, why not? Go I, ahead. I, uh, one, one weird thing is I have a huge obsession with Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. Absolutely. Very cool. Yes, he does. I've been to the um, Charles Schultz Museum in Santa Rosa, California, probably 30 times. Really. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm hoping that this year I actually get to hold part of Snoopy and walk in the parade. I know awesome. that's absurd, but I have a contact, so we'll hope it goes through. So your goal is to be one of the... Uh, yes. The, 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 what do you call it, the rope holders? Yeah, they'll probably stick me somewhere on some rope that's not even really attached, but that's okay. And then what if everybody else lets go? Will you go up with you'll, him? You'll go up with him. I'll probably let go too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I was just curious. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Derek? Well, I wouldn't say it's really, at least I don't think it's weird. Um, I actually really enjoy when my son helps helps out in the movie making. He's, he helped us out in Revenant. He's only 10. Uh -huh. uh, he was in the movie. Um, but uh, he was do he did some of the like he would press record and stuff like that on the camera and, and that really big for me. He was the he was the one that pushed open the drawer. Uh huh. He was stuffed in inside. Oh, he the was cupboards. inside the cabinet yeah. pushing and, open. Uh, you know, so you know, was... he just and just that little bit just makes me just happy as can be. Uh -huh. So just getting to work with my family and that's that's about it. Just my my son, I love it when he helps out. You know, so. He's in the credits, he's the director's assistant. Uh, you know, but that's, I don't really don't have any weird obsessions or anything like this freak. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's about it. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Charlie Brown's not Charlie a weird. Brown. No, no, it's it's cool though. It, it really is. He's got a lot of cool little memorabilia. So yeah. it's really neat. Very cool. <laughs> I unfortunately do not. So you are the house of horrors. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> you did the movie in your house. Your son was part of it. My last movie was done in my other house. Yeah. So, 
you know, a lot. Most of all of my movies have been filmed at my lo my location. Yeah. Very cool. Wherever I'm wherever I'm at, I like to build in the garage and while I'm watching movies and stuff. So it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> for me, anyway. And it's all our budget allows for, right? Pretty much, yeah. Well, yeah, understood. Yeah. Well, uh, that's the way it is with most indies. You, yeah. you, you do what you you yeah. do what you can with what you have. Yeah, exactly. That's, a, yeah, that's the fun part of it, though. Absolutely. is kind of trying to figure yeah. out how are you going to do it with nothing, and how are you going to make it look the way you need it to look. So, exactly. You know, even though you have no money or people, because it was literally just us two that made that entire movie. Yeah. So we were the crew. Yeah. We had um, John Gale who produced it. Yeah. Like he helped by writing checks and doing that kind of stuff. <laughs> checks are nice. Checks yes. are very good, yes. Uh, checks are nice. I could yes. use a few. Yes, and me too. Shelly, your wife. Yeah, it's Shelley. amazing opening the house and letting us be in there at all hours and having like a third, no, like an extra person in the family. Thank you, Shelly. For forever. Yeah. <laughs> for a and while. For, for a while there. Totally awesome. Yeah, so it was very nice. Yep. I love the movie. And thank you. Thank you so much. Thank and you. from Hollywood, California at Riley Studios, this has been the Weird Review. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Thanks. Thank you.